Hey everyone, it's Craig Reckless. Today we're going to show you how to punk up I'm the Only One by Melissa Etheridge. We're going to keep this country thing going. So we're going to have, uh, we're going to start out with some chokes. We're going to do that. So see what I'm doing there? I'm going. So I'm doing like a. So I'm, I'm choking like the sixth string, and, and then I'm then I'm choking down the whole the whole strings. Then I'm going. So what I'm doing there, I'm doing a pull off with my third and first fingers. I'm playing the uh, fifth and the third frets of the fourth string. So we're going. So we're pulling off from the fifth fret to the third. Now I'm taking my third finger, hopping over to the uh, fifth string. Fifth fret. Then we're choking again, going. Now we're hammering three five on the fifth string. Then we're going. So I'm hammering and I'm folding my finger down and I'm playing five five, which is the fifth string and the fourth string. So, so I'm hammering down on the fifth string and then I'm gonna pick up. I'm picking up. my my pick's gonna pick up. It's gonna be an upstroke on the uh, fourth string, fifth fret, and then we're gonna keep doing that. So it's gonna do this like three times. It's gonna go, and then the fourth time. So we're gonna do this. Uh, we'll see. So it's that's the the pull off and this is the hammer on then we're gonna pull pull off again and now when we hammer on we're gonna kick the distortion on so what I'm doing there is I'm doing the, the same hammer on I'm going I'm gonna turn this down here um, so what I do is I go so I'm doing that hammer on we did. Now I'm playing the G, the bar chord. So that's gonna be three and five and a sixth string and a fifth string. Not that big. So we're gonna do that. Let's see. So it's gonna go. time we're gonna go and then we're gonna stop it we're gonna stop it real quick and then we're gonna do these chokes so it's gonna be it's gonna be quick we're still gonna be distorted we're gonna go so now that the vocals come in there so we wanna we, we want our dynamics to come down so we're gonna go so now we're gonna go we're gonna do that fill the, the, the hammer on so now we're just gonna go that fill is going to be 3 5 on the um, fifth string, folding it, remember, and playing the fourth string fifth fret. Now we're going to come back with our first finger and play the third fret of the sixth, and that's all that's going to be. And then we're going to do the chokes. So you're going to get like three chokes in there. You want to keep the timing. Da -da -da -da. And uh, so it's funny is it's not really funny, but but what I do is I don't play that fill the same every time. I, I might go. So now what I'll do there is I go. I'll go. So what I'm having I'm having my finger folded. Um, it's gonna be on the fifth and fourth strings on the fifth fret. So we're folding it, going, and I'm going. So I'm going. Now my pick's gonna be up, down, up, down. So I'm gonna go four, five, four, five, four, six. Now the six is gonna be a third fret. So that's the, the strings I'm calling out. And I, I might throw that one in every other time. So I wanna go.
So watch these fills, try to keep your timing. The most important thing in this is the timing. You gotta stay along with those drums, you gotta stay along with the singer, watch the timing, don't get the fill happy. Make sure the fills are short and sweet and you're keeping your chokes in time with this, the vocals and the uh, drums. Um, and, like, and then before the chorus, we're gonna do a little fill. And we're gonna jump into the A minor. So when I do the A minor, I'm doing an open A minor. And I'm gonna uh, just, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna go. You can do that. So you can do like a one, two, three, four, or the A minor, then to the D. But I like to, I like to play the single notes because it sounds like, when you listen to it, it sounds like there's, there's a lot of, I, there's an acoustic going, there's an electric going, there's probably another guitar going. So there's a lot of, this is a big production. So to make it punked up for one guitar, you got to do what you think is best. So for me, what I think is best is ringing out the single note. So I'm going to just go. So what I'm doing now, I'm going to put it on the clean so we can talk. So I'm going. So what I do is I kind of. I watch my timing, I, I, I go, so when I'm playing an A minor, if anybody doesn't know what an A minor is, um, go to the search bar above, hit Craig Reckless, A minor, or open minor chord, open major chord, you're, you're going to need a G inversion in this, and you're going to need a C inversion too, so if you put my, my name, Craig Reckless, in, in any chord that you have a problem with, not, not knowing what this is, search that and I'll have a video for it but for everybody else that knows where they are I don't want to slow them down so but we're gonna do the A minor we're gonna go so what I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go I'm gonna call out the strings with the A minor I'm gonna go five four three see that five four three it's gonna be down 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 five four three then we're gonna go I'm gonna go one two three it's gonna be up 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 so, then I'm gonna play a D so now I'm going to play a D and I'm going to throw a D suspended 4 in there and I'm going to go, so now I'm going to call out the strings with a D. So I'm going to go 4, 3, 2, and I'm gonna, now I'm going to do a hammer on to the suspended 4 and I'm going to pick up with this. So see, so yeah, I'm going so to go suspended 4 with pinky down on the 3rd um, fret, 1st string. So I'm going up, up with my pick. So I'm going three, two on the first string. Those are up, up picks. And then coming back to the second string, that's gonna be an up pick too, see? And we're going back to the A, doing the same thing. And we'll do the same thing there. You could even mix it up and do something like Okay, so make it yours. You know, if you wanna make that last chord going into the chorus dramatic, do something different with it, but that, that's what I'm doing. I'm going. So it's right there, I just showed you something different, but you come up with something different there if you want to, or you can do the same thing and keep it consistent. Um, so there's that, and then so now we're going to do the chorus chords. So the chorus chords are going to be the G inversion. So, so these you want to be distorted, you want to go. an F. And I, I play the F with my thumb there, so like instead of a bar chord, you can play it with your this too. So it's because it doesn't it doesn't matter, but I just do that. So now we're going to the F to the E minor, and then we hit the, when we hit the E minor. We're gonna go. So what I'm doing there is I'm taking my second finger and I'm pulling off from the fourth string, two open. So we're going two open, pull up. And then I'm bringing my finger over to the fifth string, second fret, see that? Doing that three times. So we're gonna go. Then it repeats G inversion to the F. 
to the E minor. Then we're going to go to the A minor. So I like to play the single note, so you can do the... Now we're going to go to C inversion. And I'm going to play single notes there too, so just play single notes. So we're going to go... Same, same uh, theory as that. We're going to go down, 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 up, up, up. Then we're going to go to F. So I'm playing single notes there too. See that? So just go down, 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 up, up, up with the F anywhere. It doesn't matter. You're going to be in key. I usually do six, four, three, then one, three, two, then back to the C. Which with the C I do uh, six or not six five four three one two three and to the G okay and then it goes back to so this one has a little longer fill this one goes so what you can do I'm not honestly not a hundred percent sure what it is so I just mix it up every time I do like a... so what I do. I'll show you two different things that I, I'll throw in there different times. I'll go. So it's it's kind of like this, similar like the first one we do. So I go. So I'm going three to five on the fifth string. And we're folding over to the fourth string, fifth fret. So back to the fifth fret on the fifth string. So now I'm, 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 my fingers, my first fingers fold and up here and I'm hitting the third fret on the uh, four strings, so and I'm hammering back down three five on the fifth string, and I'm playing the four string now, fifth fret because I folded it, and then I'm coming back to the the sixth string third fret. See, so that's the first one. So they're real slow. And then the next one I want to do is. So that's that's another one I do. So that's just it's almost like the same thing, but the only thing different is I'm going. So I'm doing all that first. So I'm adding one note different. So we're gonna go. We did all that, then we're we're ending it, which is gonna be the first fret and the fifth string and the third fret. On the sixth string, so first and third finger. See that? That's gonna be, like I said, make it that one or the other one, or come up with your own. That's uh, it's it doesn't matter. And then we're gonna go back to. Going to do all that again. Then we're gonna go to the chorus. solo I have a video for the guitar solo so check that out I'll put a link in the description hopefully if I remember if I don't just go to Craig Reckless um I'm the only one in guitar solo it's a really good explanation on the solo so I'm gonna pat myself on the shoulder so but so the chords behind the solo are gonna be F Then back to the chorus, to the F, to the E, back to the G, to the F, to the E. Then we're going to do the A minor, C, version, F, to the C. Now we're going to go 
to the G, back to the, so we're like, we're starting the chorus over again. So that time we don't hang around on a G, we're actually going, as soon as we hit the G, we're actually starting the chorus again over. And that's all it does, so it keeps doing the chorus until it ends. So that's how you punk up some Melissa Etheridge.